We arrived at a point a few years ago where we wanted to make a new musical instrument. It was specifically designed for children and even more specifically to aid people who physically can't access instruments like this through disability or for whatever reason. And we ended up with this, which is a Skoog. And it's a soft, tactile cube. Mm -hmm. It plugs into a computer and you have software. So now, uh -huh. now we have percussion. Uh -huh. So we can change the instruments, we can change the notes. The key thing that's different about Skoog in relation to traditional instruments is traditional instruments have all the notes inside of them and you have to learn how to get them out. And with Skoog, what you do is you say, what notes do you need right now? Because you don't need them all, all the time. I mean, the way that we teach and you know, learn music is all back to front. So when we learn to speak, we learn through playing. We speak with other people mm -hmm. and we have, we're you know, constantly improvising together. But when we teach and learn music, we have to learn to read music. We have to learn the instrument first before we get to play with other people. Yes. And with Scoob, we turn that background to the natural way. So we let kids play first, learn through play, and make music together. The way that we did it was participatory design. So we actually went out into schools and worked with kids and worked with teachers. We spent time embedded in different institutions. We went and said what we went and asked. A, a student recently, in the last two years, a girl called Stephanie Forrest who uh, is a special needs school, she has cerebral palsy and she has various challenges and she was, the school found that she could play Scoob and so she started getting regular lessons and from that she began playing in a mainstream orchestra. <gasps> she then performed as part, as a soloist and then performed as part of a special project in the Olympics in 2012 and then continuing her journey, she's left school now and she's just, uh, she's part, formed a band well, a group of them have formed a, a group called the Digital Quartet. And last month they released their first EP, a complete learning journey awesome. that Skoog has been a part of. Um, and we're just really excited that that's mm -hmm. starting to happen now, to see people being enabled to be uh, the musicians and the, the creatives that they can be. Mm -hmm.